Hi, I'm Dan from Dancha Farms, and today I'm going to demonstrate a 12 volt milker. Um, this vacuum pump will work on 120 volts AC, or for all you Europeans, I have 120 volt to 220 volt adapters. This uh, unit will also work off of 12 volts DC. Uh, you can get the optional 12 volt DC uh, uh, cable. It's about eight foot long. It's switched and fused. And what a lot of people do, if they don't have power in their barn, they can take out a small ATV battery and hook up directly to the battery. So just to recap, it'll work. This pump will work off of 12 volts DC or off of the included 12 volt DC power supply. Um, we're going to attempt to milk Nancy. She's a little uptight after just having kids, but we really want to demonstrate this pump. Um, this pump is great because you can milk one animal, 10 animals, however many animals you, you need to milk. It also has a valve on the Y assembly, and the idea of this valve is when your milk a bottle is full, you shut off the valve and you unscrew your lid and pull, uh, unscrew the band and pull off the lid, uh, go to a new bottle, switch to the new bottle, new empty bottle, and uh, uh, bring up a vacuum before you uh, turn on the, open the valve. And once you got a little vacuum in the bottle, you just slowly open the valve and the teacups will stay on the uh, animal without falling off. Anyway, we're going to attempt to milk her. Uh, what I use is a um, hand sanitizer with, uh, with aloe. Uh, remember, it's really, really important to, to have uh, a clean uh, teat uh, so that you don't, and clean hands, so that you don't introduce bacteria into the teat sphincter. So the first thing I'll do is to clean my hands, of course, try to disinfect as much as possible. I've already washed my hands a few times. You can also use uh, nitrile gloves uh, to be as sterile as possible. But uh, okay, here we go. We're going to clean Nancy off and both her teats. Now she's got some malformed teats. They're really hard to uh, She's a difficult milker, but she has tons of milk. I've just uh, broken the seal. A mucous membrane will develop over the teat sphincter so that when they're walking, they don't lose all their milk. And we wash her down now. We've disinfected her. We've washed her down. And I'm going to attempt to get both teacups on. She's a kicker. We've had to hobble her and also hold her down. So. Um, the, the uh, milker also comes with a, uh, a plug, so if you wanted to milk one teat at a time, uh, you could just put the plug in. We also include the teacup uh, plungers, and the plungers are great to aid in uh, cleaning the milker. I have, uh, and what you do is you swish the plunger in and out while you're in the water, uh, while you have your milker in the water and uh, it helps to, to clean the lines. Also, if you happen to get a little bit of milk or foam inside the pump, don't worry, there's a quick disconnect. And what you do is you turn on the pump, let it run for a little bit, get a water spray bottle, spray a little water into the pump and let it exhaust out and that'll clean it. So no need to worry if you get milk or foam in the pump. It is designed to uh, pull air to create a vacuum, so you want to keep uh, the milk or foam uh, down to a minimum inside the pump. Um, and here we go. So right now I'm running off of the power supply, which is plugged into a 120 volts AC outlet, and uh, we're going to try to milk. And of course my valve is in the on position so that we can create a vacuum. Boy, can you try to put that other cup on? There you go. You put that one on. This one. Right here. Look at my fingers. Right yeah. Yeah. Okay. Once 
Once we've got a vacuum, you can hold her from, from sitting down. She's going to try to sit down. And we have milk flow into the bottle. Once you begin to see the milk flow, you've created enough vacuum uh, to stop the pump. Let it run for a little while. As you can see, she's, uh, she's milking into the bottle. And what we're going to do now is demonstrate how to change bottles. Um, shut the valve off, which keeps the vacuum on the teats. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate uh, changing milker bottles. And remember you want to uh, shut off your valve. That keeps the vacuum on the teats. And go to your new, your new bottle. Create a vacuum in the, in the bottle first. And then as you're going to vacuum in the bottle, Slowly open up the valve and you're back to milking again. It's quick, it's easy, it's clean. And as you can see, milk's flowing in the bottle, staying perfectly clean. Um, <clears throat> put your extra milker bottles and your battery in, in a bag like I have. I usually carry two, two uh, half gallon jugs. Uh, we do have a new one gallon jug, which will uh, work out really well. Um, I don't have electricity here in the barn. I pulled an extension cord. Um, I usually use the 12 volt battery. At night, I'll put a charge on the batteries. And in the mornings, uh, she's, she just milked out. In the morning, we'll, uh, we'll uh, come out and use the battery. That way there, I'm not pulling an extension cord. Um, the uh, eight foot switched fused cable looks like this. You can plug into a car or a truck power outlet, ATV power outlet, or if you do like I do, I have uh, alligator, alligator clips. It, it, like I say, it comes with two. It comes with the power plug and the alligator clips. Uh, very easy to change. I use the alligator clips on the battery and then we plug that directly into the pump like so. Take and hook up. Red is positive, black is negative and switch power and there we go and we're milking again with our 12 volt power supply. Uh, it's a great system, it's clean. Uh, we send out information with all our milkers. Um, we also have our contact information, so feel free to call us at any time. We're here to help you with milking questions or milking machine questions. It's a powerful little milker, and like I say, you can milk one animal or you can milk a dozen animals. However much battery power you have, or however long you want to milk with 120 volts. You know, we're proud to say we have families in China milking their camels, to uh, Native Americans out west milking their buffalo, to everyday people just like you all milking their goats, sheep, cow, um, getting colostrum milk, um, uh, milking your mares, and um, it, it's just a, a really good machine that's affordable and um, we, we, um, we're really happy with this new machine. It's going over big, it's inexpensive, and it's easy to use, easy to maintain. We, um, we service what we sell. We're here to keep you milking. So uh, happy milking to you all, and we'll be looking forward to talking with anybody with any questions or, uh, or, or uh, questions on milking or uh, on the milking machine. And uh, we're going to let Nancy feed her babies. Uh, she just had kids a couple of weeks ago, so she's anxious to uh, take care of her babies. Uh, this is actually colostrum milk, uh, which is a little bit heavier, a little more yellow in color. So just to show that the milking machine will pull colostrum or milk, uh, it doesn't matter. It's a great little machine. And thank you all. Happy milking.